but then we found out that price and cost are not always the same thing. What you pay in price uh, definitely could cost you a lot more in the end. Well, all of you know I have been into hundreds if not thousands of machine shops at this point in my career. Today I'm with Brian. We're at Davis Machine today and we're going to talk coolant. Again, many of you might know the bad machinist that I was and how I didn't pay as much attention to my coolant as I should have. And Brian knows firsthand what can happen if we sacrifice a little bit of quality to save a little bit of money and the domino effect that comes after that. So Brian, firstly, thank you for joining me on camera. Thank you for having us into Davis Machine, a company started in 1952. 75,000 square feet we're standing in. Yep. Let's talk about this QualiChem coolant and this small transition you had testing something that we could call less expensive, we could call inferior, we could use different types yep. of adjectives, but ultimately you ran into a little bit of trouble when you tried out a different kind of coolant. What kind of trouble happened? Once we got it up and running, we, we immediately noticed a, a, a chemical smell. Um, it wasn't real strong, but it was there and we noticed it. Uh, but we started machining with it. Um, as we machined with it, we noticed that uh, we were starting to get bad finishes on our uh, manufactured products. We run a lot of uh, structural aerospace parts and we do a lot of uh, surfaces that require good quality surface finish. Uh, we noticed we were starting to get bad surface finish and that became a problem because we were stopping our machines and we thought, we were looking at our tools, we thought maybe we had bad tools and uh, we were scratching our head trying to figure out why our product wasn't coming out like it normally did in the past. We originally started changing out our tools, putting in sharp brand new cutters and uh, we found out the bad surface finish was still there. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that had changed in our process was our coolant. So we found out that our new coolant that was a little bit less expensive wasn't quite performing and leaving that good quality surface finish that we needed. Uh, we were trying to deal with it. A few weeks went by and uh, over time we started to realize that we were going through a lot more coolant. One drum of coolant normally lasts us about uh, two weeks and we were going through a drum of coolant in about five, four to five days. Part of our uh, coolant usage, uh, some, a lot of it gets stuck to the chips. The chips are going out the back of the machine and a lot of that coolant was, on the less expensive coolant, that coolant was sticking to the chips and the coolant was going out the back of the machine into the waste. Uh, so we were losing a lot of coolant out the back of the machine and a lot of it was uh, getting burned up and evaporating and burning off a lot quicker than the QualiChem. Our QualiChem uh, didn't foam up. It did not uh, dissipate as fast. Uh, our usage just, the QualiChem usage, uh, I just can't say enough about it. It's really great. We didn't burn through it. It did not dissipate uh, nowhere near as fast as a less expensive. It was a very, uh, it was a very expensive lesson learned. It was, a very <laughs> it was a very expensive lesson learned because we had to drain our machines in the front end to switch over to the less expensive stuff. Uh, but then, in the end, when we realized we weren't saving money, we were actually spending twice as much, we had to go through that very painstaking drain the machines, clean out the coolant tanks, run the cleaner, uh, co uh, the cleaning system through it, and then we had to refill it with the QualiChem, which we were very glad to get back. <laughs> we were very glad to have it back. Brian, I'd like to go back to the beginning of this conversation to kind of let the audience know why the even the the idea of switching to a different coolant came up because Polychem yeah. has been a good partner and a great yeah. resource for you for over a decade at this point, right? Yeah, we were at the end of uh, 22, 2022 at the end and the cost of metal was going up, the cost of oil and lubricants was going up, the cost of tooling was going up and we were looking in areas that we could maybe do some cost savings and save a little bit of money and of course coolant came up in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And we thought we were going to be able to save some money. We, we ventured out. We were looking for definitely something that had to be Boeing approved, of course. Sure. That's very important to us. Uh, when we found a less expensive, cheaper coolant that was Boeing approved, we thought, all right, this, this might work out good for us. 
So we went through all the work that it took to drain our machines and put that less expensive coolant in there. Uh, but then we found out that price and cost are not always the same thing. What you pay in price uh, definitely could cost you a lot more in the end. So uh, it was a big lesson learned for sure. Brian, that, and like you said, we have been with this product for uh, over 12 years. Yeah. Quality Chem has been a very good product for us and uh, it was a very uh, painstaking uh, lesson learned for sure. Brian, yeah. I think my favorite statement of this entire conversation and for the audience, if you could absorb this as well, price and cost are completely different yes. things. When you listen to Brian talk, yep. we're talking about poor finishes, we're talking about yep. cutting tool life being reduced. We yes. knew it had to be something that changed because everything remained the same except for the coolant. And then on top of that, a little bit of smell, the barrels going through quicker because the residual was getting caught on the chips. It really was this domino effect that ultimately in deburring just right over my shoulder here, now that needed more time as well. So price yes. versus cost, yep. this really is the best way to end the conversation. Polly Kim, what a great partner. And Brian, thank you so much for allowing us to share your story to the MTD channel. Tony, thank you. I just appreciate you being here and sharing our story. Um, we just want to, we're hoping to, to be able to save uh, other partners that are in this industry from going through the same trouble that we went through, that if you have a good product, it may be a little bit more expensive, but I, I promise you in the end, it's worth it. Yep. And that's the authenticity we like about you, Brian, about thank Davis you. Machine, and for the audience watching, this is why we do these videos, is so we can learn from other people's mistakes. Fortunately, sure. this one yep. was just a quick one, but it was a lesson learned, a story to be that's shared, sure. and we wanted to share that with you. Really appreciate you, Brian. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it.